On today's show, we welcome modern mystic Sarah Le Fay, who uncovers the mysteries of the tarot. I'm Dr. Michael Leike, and welcome to the Signs of the Soul. Join me now for a higher consciousness meditation to relieve the stress and rid ourselves of the energies of the week just passed. Source is omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent. Source is everywhere. There is no place Source is not. Therefore, where we are, Source is. Source is peace, love, joy, harmony, creativity, higher intelligence, wisdom, and just as the sun beam is an extension of the sun, so too are we. Just as the waves upon the ocean are individualized extensions and expressions of the whole ocean, so too are we perfect, whole individualizations of Mother, Father, God. We already are perfect in the mind of the universe, as the mind of the universe is perfect within us. Right here and right now, in this energy of pure perfection that we are one with, we affirm and we declare that whatever is put out is mirrored back to us, for we are one with the all. An exterior face of love and joy and of bliss reflects our feeling and extension and expression of love, joy, and bliss. We know not where the looking glass begins nor ends. We simply are. And we attract to us only creativity, only peace, love, and joy, for that is what we radiate out now and unto forevermore. These words are the law of the universe and already are in the mind of God. We release this word letting us be in love, joyous, in the creative process now and unto forevermore. Letting it be so and so it is and so it is. We welcome now modern day mystic Sarah Le Fay. How are you today, Sarah? I'm doing well, thank you. Awesome. Thank you for coming on the show. You're you're one of our more popular guests on the Blog Talk Radio show, and uh, I know you'll you'll fast become popular on um, Soul Science TV here. So let let's. Um, I love the tarot. That's actually how I started metaphysics a long time ago. I love the artwork and, and it seems to represent different times in history and, and whatnot. What do you love most about tarot? I really love the, the diversity of it. Um, depending on what, uh, all of the basic decks are the same in terms of uh, the four suits and then the major arcana, which stands for um, major secrets, right? The life lesson cards of the of the deck. But every artist has their own interpretation of these cards. 
and each card every time you look at it has a little bit different message for whoever it is that you're reading the card for so I may pull you know um, the ace of cups for somebody and um, I'll notice that it means something different because of where it's sitting or because of the question that's being posed it might mean a new beginning of a relationship or it might be a, a, a new um, emotion something like that right so it really just depends on and, and they kind of speak to you so there's a lot of parts that I like about it uh, but mostly I love the imagery and I love the symbolism behind it um, and and that they're just so diverse and there's more cards in a tarot deck than than a regular deck of playing cards many believe that um, the, the tarot are the great great grandparents, if you will, of the modern deck of playing cards because yeah. simply there are four suits representing different aspects. It's it's referred to actually as the minor arcana, as you said, um, and the major arcana of cards represents. I believe there's 22 in that section. More spiritual, um, the more spiritual aspect of life, but that's that's debatable. But um, from a Jungian perspective, mm -hmm. um, which only in the last couple of years I, I kind of got excited about from from a not not just a religious or a metaphysical perspective but more a psychological or psychiatric perspective those cards really speak to me as well how do you feel about that yeah well I've always been interested in symbols and symbolism and I started my journey in astrology and there's a lot of uh, astrological themes and religious themes um, in these cards now we know that this, sub and, and this is one of the, the tenets, I guess, of Jungian philosophy, is that the subconscious mind responds to symbol uh, far more than it responds to words or written items, unless unless the, the, it becomes a picture, you know, as, as a word, like brands and logos and so on. So what I like specifically about the tarot is that you can look at it and it has symbols that mean something to different time periods, different sects. Um, I do dream interpretation as well. It's something I've always been interested in. And that, of course, is where he got a lot of his, um, his theories. So I kind of tie it all together. And that's why I said earlier that sometimes you can have the same card show up and all of a sudden you'll look at a little, oh, there's a star in the background or there's a boat in the background. And that specifically means you know, journeying for you or something, right? So um, it's it's really endless, and, and that's what I love about it because it's open for interpretation, right? Absolutely, very exciting. When we come back, Sarah will actually do a card reading based on some of the tweets and emails that have uh, come in. So we'll see you all very soon. Don't you dare go away. with modern day mystic Sarah Le Fay. We have a few tweets, we have a few questions from um, from people and I'm just curious what, what deck are you using? I'm actually using the traditional Rider Waite tarot. It's got uh -huh. really simple basic uh, traditional imagery so it's the most Very classic. Cool. Absolutely. Very clean, easy to read. Um, this is a tweet from G. We'll just say G. And she, I'm assuming it's a she, wants to know about love for 2012. Okay. So uh, this will be a card for love for G, and you know who you are. Sorry, I close my eyes when I do this. Okay. So I pulled this card, which is the, I don't know if you can see that, it's the Ace of Pentacles. The yes. Aces have to do with new beginnings. So I would say that love is on the cards for this person. Um, so G, I'm imagining that because it came up as the uh, as the pentacles, which typically is the sign for good health um, and money, um, that it's going to be a, a really good and healthy relationship for you. And it may also come with somebody that is uh, secure financially. Excellent. So good news. <laughs> It is good news for G. Thank you for that. Um, let's look at travel. I see a question about travel from HL, and I believe it's a he. He wants to know if travel is in the cards in 2012 
for himself. HL actually are the initials. Mm -hmm. Travel in 2012. We're wondering how that looks. I almost feel like we should do a drum roll. <laughs> okay. Um, I got the four of wands. So four of wands typically is associated with um, celebrations, weddings, birthdays, that kind of thing. So if if this has to do with travel, I'd say that perhaps he's going to be traveling to attend some kind of an event, a reunion of some sort, a very happy occasion. If there is going to be travel, then it's going to be well heralded. It's going to be to go to events or conferences, something very social, something where he'll meet that. He'll meet people and there'll be lots of sort of jubilation and joy around this. So it may be weddings, it may be birthdays, uh, but yeah, I would see it's a positive card. I would see travel and good travel. Excellent. Excellent. Um, if people want to get a hold of you, Sarah mm -hmm. Lefay, how might they? I know you've got a wonderful Facebook page and a blog and, and website. Uh, let's go for it. So tarotvancouver.com is my website. And I do have a Facebook page as well, but I can't remember what, it's, <laughs> what it is. But if you go to my website, you can follow me from there if you want to on Facebook. So I post events on there, and I also do girls' nights um, where I come to uh, your house and uh, set up in the kitchen, and you've got all your girlfriends drinking wine in the living room, and I'm doing readings in the, in the kitchen. So uh, a really fun thing. Very good. So if you want Sarah to come to your house and eat all your food, but read your tarot, <laughs> drink all your drinks, uh, get in contact with her. Sarah LaFay, thank you so much no uh, for, for coming on. And we'll be back. I'd like to thank my very special guest, Sarah LaFay, Modern Mystic, and most of all, I'd like to thank all of you for tuning in to the Science of the Soul. Until next time, peace and blessings, everyone. Mm -hmm.